Hello, hi. Happy New Year to you. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you had a happy new year. We're in 2018 now. So 2018, what is this going to bring? It's going to bring a lot of things. And there's going to be some things I talked to you about in this video. Now, a lot of you may know if you've been watching me for a while that I did a video about a year ago where I called it slamming the door on 2016. You slam the door on things finally in 2017. Hi, are you on a twin flame journey? So you might be asking yourself this, am I on a twin flame journey? Or even questioning it. I thought I was on a twin flame journey, but am I on a twin flame journey? And maybe you're not sure about a few things because of the way things go. Now, for the past several months, many people have been going through a lot of things that they refer to as downloads, upgrades, and the door has been closing to the past. But you're at other levels of closing the door to the past, and that's what I want to talk to you about. So, some of what you're going to find out is that the closures actually are a blessing in disguise, although it doesn't always feel like that in the moment. Like a lot of things with the divine, when there's, you know, a higher hand at work and there's something looking out from you, for you, you sometimes scratch your head at this level and you say, that isn't the way I would have planned it, or hey, why did something get taken away from me? You don't always understand it. You sometimes don't even understand why are you getting sick? Why am I sick? Why does this hurt? Why did I suddenly throw out my back, throw out my shoulder, frozen shoulder, frozen knees, sticky knees, um, one or the other? I've been through a lot of that, and I know what it is, and I know what it's about. And it is about the physical part. So for the new year, for this first video, what I'm going to talk to you about is the physical part of your physical union. And again, some of you may scratch your head and say, Patricia, it hasn't happened yet. Well, there are reasons for even that. And it has a lot to do with being able to be physical with each other. And by physical, I don't mean hitting each other or getting that karmic two by four upside the head. It means physically living with each other, physically being near each other and gradually putting yourselves together. Now, you are coming into balance in new ways. You're also going to have new schedules. And there's things to know about time and schedules and even what you could call deadlines, where you get things done by a certain time. Now, this retrograde energy is suddenly going to push people forward. We have a super moon. A lot of people were feeling that whooshing energy. It feels very watery. In fact, it's, this is a very watery one. It's a lot of the frozen, bitter stuff that's needing to come out now. We're going to have another super moon at the end of the month. And two full moons in one month, that's once in a blue moon. That's the blue moon. So what are you going to do? Well... There are things to know about this so that you can take proper actions and do by being who you are. So this is balancing in new ways, new schedules, new activities with new sensations. What does that mean? That means doing things you never tried before, trying some things differently, doing something so that you are actually maintaining and creating sensations, or rather the other way around creating and maintaining new things full gradual togetherness and something that goes hand in hand with this what a lot of people refer to as mission what's your mission well many people feel this because that's how it's been for several lifetimes ta-da you're on a mission ta-da pick up your flag and pick up anything else and Go on out. You've been on a crusade. You've been on a journey. You've been on this or that. But what you're going to find out is that you slow down at some point 
so that you finish gathering in what truly belongs to you. And people don't like that. And especially people who might live in a metro area and you're saying, but I need to be, you know, doing things. You're at a constant level of activity. A part of this is slowing down. A part of it is speeding up again. And so people say, I, I prefer to say, what is the calling of your shared heart? What's the calling of your heart? How do you want to express the love that you exude out into the world? Which is actually different than mission because mission can sometimes be what everyone else is getting on the bandwagon with, not you. And I have had some people t turn aside very lucrative things that were about to start up for them only to do something else that looks like what everybody else is doing. So I want to talk to you about this because there are many people that have been at a standstill for a while. So for example, we have her, she's very lovely, but she just doesn't understand why she just can't get something going. And there is her twin and her twin actually, he's a go-getter. He does things, he's very dynamic and he's very, things are flow and things are lucrative and she can't understand it. What she doesn't understand is they are a part of this. And then she gets angry and she gets really, really angry and then she decides to turn away. And she still doesn't understand it, but all of those emotions well up and, and she's fed up with being stuck. She's just fed up with it. I know you're fed up with it. I know you're fed up with it. And he's completely clueless about it. Why? Because he is in the position of some level of balance. Okay? He's in some level of balance and he's not going to feel the lower stuff in, in a way. So, one of the things to know, and I presented this previously probably over a year ago, is I have had the pleasure of speaking to people who are twin flames, who are true twin flames, who have been in all walks of life. So I can genuinely say the light and the love is everywhere. However, I want to point out to you what some of these professions have been. People are pilots or some kind of drivers, doctors, lawyers. Yes, I speak to doctors who are twin flames and don't knock the doctors because some of them may be the very people that their senses are gearing up here to help you. A lot of people have had negative experiences, but it's shifting and changing. Lawyers, counselors, social work. These are burnout professions. People that do counseling and social work. Burnout professions. Bankers, politicians, or people in politics or who've helped with political things. Teachers, travel agents, scientists, mathematicians, computer technicians, artists, painters, musicians, song singers, songwriters, producers, directors, screenwriters, people that teach film, filmmakers, actor and actresses, authors and writers, commercial artists, this includes graphic arts and, can and does also include architecture and other types of design, such as engineering design salespersons, animal whisperers. How many people have the animal connections? That's a lot of people. Models, real estate agents, construction workers, architecture, set designers, clothes designers, makeup artists, journalists, holistic and spiritual healing arts. This is the one that gets a lot of people hung up because a lot of people think they're supposed to drop everything and go run and do this. If you don't get anywhere with it, there's a reason. It, the reason is, is you're meant to bring your light and love into some other area. 2018 is not going to be business as usual, quite literally business. Are you an entrepreneur? Do you have entrepreneurial impulses where you're feeling to start something, to develop something, to even invent something? You can feel it. You. You're, you've got it in the works. You've been doing it maybe while you're doing another job, and yet you're feeling like you want to launch this, and maybe you're not understanding the next steps with it. 
That's where I come in. Um, along with this, Reiki, herbalist, acupuncturist, uh, gemologist, and Christologist, people that work with crystals. This can be sound healers, people that work with sound, sound waves, um, light spectrums. Tarot readers. There are some people who are herbalists who are recreational drug dealers who, you know, consider themselves healers. And maybe in some ways they are, but is it is it something that will affect the union? That's the big question. How do these things affect the union? And there are things that even healers have to know about this new energy. Tarot reader, healthcare professionals, life coaches, sports coach, professional athletes, government officials, astrologers, photographers, mechanic. And some of these people, yeah, they do YouTubes. I've helped them. In fact, some of the people, I helped encourage them so much, they went and did it. And some of you watched them. I'm not going to name names, but some people know and some people have mentioned this. Pharmaceutical chemists, police officers, executives. I mean, the list goes on and on. Interior designer. Now, when you talk about people with their union and something that aligns with their union, I have a really other great story from a couple that I'd been helping for a while. I started by helping the female in the union. Turns out the male in the union lived not far from me here in the suburb of Chicago, but she lived in India. And she was married, and she just recently wrote me and said uh, in her note that her soon-to-be ex-husband, because they had tried to uh, get together, she flew from India to Chicago. She was detained at the airport. They didn't believe that she was coming here to be with her fiancé. She got sent back within 48 hours. Then what happened was he started making the process to get a fiancé visa. Now, not everyone does this. However, once the ball started rolling, her husband moved out of the house. She had the place to herself, and she stopped being an energy healer and got hired by an interior design firm, which was the dream of hers. She had been feeling that this was winding down for her, being, um, I'll just loosely say, energy healer. She had been feeling it winding down, and she was feeling a love of interior design well up within her. Now, I want to let you know that when this happens, that is how things start to happen for people. It sometimes takes a little time, and it takes some shutdowns. That's when the universe puts the brakes on you. And they certainly felt like the universe had stopped them at certain points, and yet things started to go and they are going to become married and he's meeting the family in India and that's pretty huge because you know to go from the United States there and you know meet everyone now some people have moved through some of what seems like obstacles other people are hung up on things and aren't sure of what to do so I have something uh, that you can join I have another three-part webinar called Abundantly Yours, where we're going to talk about where do you clear so that the calling of your shared heart and the alignment with your union, okay? Because it does no good for one to go in this direction and the, the other go in that direction if you're not aligned with each other. How do you do that? And how are you going to keep it together? And some people even get angry at their twin. We're going to take another couple here. And she's just beside herself. I want to start a business with you. Yeah, but I like doing things at the beach. You know that I help people uh, learn how to surf and paddleboard. Yes, but we are intended to do something together. Yeah, but I, I'm not feeling it. I mean, you're, you're always all tense, and I don't know if I can be with you. Yes, but I am a go-getter. You are just sort of being lazy at the beach. What? I'm not lazy. I work all day. I put in long hours. I It's at a place. I, I mean, I'm out in the sun. I'm out in the weather. But you are choosing to be at the beach and beach people are sort of, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. I'm going to be judgmental here. And 
there it is. People judge their twins and people get upset with their twins and they're thinking that they both need to be doing this or both need to be doing that. How are you going to maintain yourselves properly, handsomely, value who you are and come home and not have your home be a battleground or bring her work home with you? That's what I'm here to teach you because just imagine... I'm not here to teach people how to be a banker or a social worker or something like that. These people felt called on their own or they started in something and now they're no longer feeling it anymore. Okay, and people are going to swap out. They're going to swap out and stop doing this and start doing that or they're going to be an entrepreneur. How do you do this? Okay, having an entrepreneurial spirit can also happen within a company. If you take the company 3M, which develops uh, tapes and adhesives and all kinds of tape. Like if you're going to paint your wall, a lot of painters swear by their tape. But if you ever used a sticky note or a post-it note, use a post-it note. That was developed by one of their engineers, one of their chemical engineers to solve a problem he had. But the company fostered his entrepreneurial spirit. Now I'm going to use the word foster again, okay? How many people feel like they're the foster children of this whole twin flame thing? Where you're not getting enough, where you're, you know, you, you get hand-me-downs, you don't get enough to eat, you're barely subsisting. That is not what's intended for you either. You are intended to express the calling of your shared heart in a certain way for what fits your union. Not what all the other children are doing for what fits you two. And that's what you're going to find about 2018, that the physical part is very physical and that you actually have both of you. There's two of you. Okay, there's no more pretending that you're flying solo anymore and some people are going to find that out. There's going to be other portals that open this year where people are really going to find it out and they're going to have to address it. Wouldn't you like to be a little bit ahead of the game? So if you're a little bit ahead of the game, come join me. It's called Abundantly Yours. It is in three parts for $50 US, okay? Compared to the Euro, that is a bargain. Part one, I'm going to be doing it January 8th, my morning, your afternoon in the UK. Uh, Thursday morning. January 11th, I'm sorry, that's my evening. That would be in the, I'm going to go back here. January 8th, 5 p.m., that's my evening. That would be next morning in Australia or early afternoon in Hawaii or the West Coast. And parts of, uh, it's going to probably be evening in parts of South America. Thursday, January 11th, first thing my morning that's the afternoon in the UK or in Europe. Saturday, January 13th, 11 a.m., smack in the middle of the day. It's either your morning, your evening, or part of your next day, depending where you are. Once you join, or if you can't make this one, uh, this is an online event. Part two is the 14th, the 17th, and the 18th. You get to select what works for your schedule. Part 3, the 24th, the 26th, and the 27th. Now, also, I am having a live class here in Chicago. Yes, a live Twin Flame class with movement, with chakra balancing, because there's two of you. That's something that every healer can do, is address the fact that there's two of you. That's why the medical community struggles with why are things happening with you. They don't know that there's two of you. They don't know about your past lives. They don't know what history you've had here. They don't know. All they can do is, you know, test it. That's what science has taught them. Science has said take samples, take blood, take urine, okay? I'm going to tell you a little joke here. To some people, the glass is half empty. To some, the glasses half full to your medical professional. It's just another urine sample. So get over it. Okay, that's a bad joke maybe. Okay, 
You know I'm from Chicago. We tell corny jokes here. Uh, we are in corn country, so we do tell corny jokes. But the live class, that is on a weekend. It is the 20th and the 21st. I made it on a weekend because that's when most people are off. I'll be working. You come join. And it is from 9 to 4. You pick either day. They're, it's not a two-day event. It is a one-day intensive the 20th or the 21st, I will lead you into a true communion with your twin flame where you feel. And the last one I had, people really seemed to enjoy it. People got a lot out of it. I believe in giving a lot so much that sometimes there's there's a, a lot. So there is support that I give you with this and also with this webinar, Abundantly Yours, because having your full abundance it's more than money. It's more than living with each other. I know that some people would live anywhere with their twin as long as they were with their twin. But you see, you have to have a balance to your life. And you're, there may be other things that you're balancing, such as children or elderly parents or a business or a situation. Or maybe you're in the middle of a divorce. Or maybe you're just contemplating it and just trying to hammer it out. I help people with that too, with the guidance that comes through on what is sensible. So it doesn't matter what profession you're currently in or what you're going to because part of you is going to feel what you are gifted in, what you're skilled in, and how to bring that out. That's what I'm here to help you with. How do you bring it out? How do you get your abundance unlocked? Okay, because every country is different. Every country is different. The cultures are different. But you have something locked inside of you. You are the change makers. You are the people that are the shaker uppers. But I'm going to tell you who you really are. You're the ones who bring the love. You're the ones bring in the love and the light. And this has been a lot of heavy stuff for people in some of these professions. They've had to go up against stupid corporate decisions sometimes, sometimes other people's heads. Some of you know about this, okay? But that doesn't mean that you're still not bringing the love. What a really nice world and business and things that you will have when you're bringing the love. I'll never forget a lesson from childhood. And this lesson was that there was a furniture store and they didn't really like having children in there at all. Not even unruly children, any children. They didn't want them in there. And do you know what? Uh, we never frequented that store again. They made such a big deal about it because they had an attitude. And, you know, that, those, those things just don't apply. And if you are, you know, if you're going to be in business, you have to have the right vibe. You have to have the right connections. And you have to bring the love. But you can't let everyone drain your love. That also is what I talk about in here. How to get yourself clear so that you are bringing balance in new ways to you and your union. So if you'd like to join, the links are below. They're also on my website at www.twinflamesmerge.com. And yes, I do sessions. I do one-on-one -on -one sessions. I do several types of body sessions online and in person. And thank you so much. I wish you a happy new year. I wish you a wonderful week. And stay tuned because there's more to come. If you like getting these updates, please subscribe. Thanks so much. I had to find the mouse there for a minute.